All right, guys, we're here. Another episode of what was the show? What's it called? Uncanny Unboxing. That's the new show with two guys from New York, a full blown Puerto Rican, and um, a somewhat Puerto Rican. So, <laughs> Mexican New York Rican. I don't know why he's got to make everything racial. It, it was, but <laughs> uh, you know, I was trying to come up with a show to make it two New Yorkians, but it didn't work. Because he's not full blown New Yorkian like I am. Anyway, we got here a nice package, courtesy of our good friends from Only Slabs, Rob Fat Stacks. So I actually won this. Wow. And Only Slabs, so it's, I, I know what's in here. Yep. You don't, though. I have no idea. You have no idea. So, you know, Rob was telling me early this morning that, like, yo, I packaged it really good because, you know, you posted my video on how to package a box. So <laughs> let's take a look and see if his package is as good as he says it is. So. We'll start off by ripping this part off, right? So right. don't really need a box cutter for that. First first things first, look how simple that is. That was simple. So this is a flat rate envelope. There's a flat rate envelope priority mail. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now he has this. So we don't need this part as you can see. Now we have the Gemini. Now we have the Gemini box. So let's do what we gotta do. Snip, snip. Snippy, snip. But I didn't see the sticker. Where's my Rob Faxack sticker? It might be inside. Oh, it might be inside. All right. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, he has the he has the bubble wrap inside. And there you have the one and only Rob Faxack sticker. Look at that. Look at that sticker. Are those Pokemon cards? Yes, those are Pokemon cards. So he puts the sticker in to hold that. And there you have our little fact. I just put that there so we could just... Yep. Leave it right there for everybody to see it. Very cool. Um, and we got some more little stickers. Look at that. So talk about stickers. We got to talk about stickers. I'm going to talk to you. Oh, the sticker didn't stay there. All right. Okay, keep it. So we got some only slab stickers. Oh, there's a magnet. Oh, very cool. Only magnet. There, put that there. Got his card. Mm -hmm. There's the stickers. The comic vet. Chris, the comic vet. Wow. Got one for me, one for Josh. Look at that. All right. And then we got another. Rob Fat that sticker. stickers. There yeah. you go. Is that what you paid for? Just to yeah. Get, oh, and that? look at this discount pressing. Amazing. We got discount pressing. Look at all that stuff. So, I like I said, I know what's in this stash, but I want to make this one book in this stash that's actually really, really important, and I want to make sure it's the last one we look at. There's Pokemon cards in every single yes. bag of <laughs> There's a Pokemon card in every single stash. Okay, I, I know which book it is. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, so let's start off like this. Well, no, I, there isn't a Pokemon card in every stash. We're going to start. Uh, so starting with nice little run, we're going to start Captain America. Very nice. Right? John Cassidy, I remember this is the Fight Terra storyline mm -hmm. that came out right right during 9-11. So this is in response to 9-11. Yeah. Um, that's when this book came out. So that's the first issue. So you got issue number two. Okay. All right. Issue number three. Let me guess. Issue number four. And <laughs> issue number four. Very cool. Very cool. All right. These are these are great stories. This is a really good story. Then we have here we have a a kids comic, a Marvel Avengers Adventures Adventures number four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And complete with Pokemon cards. Okay. We got a Growlithe and a Magikarp. Yeah. And he has no idea what's the value of these cards. So who knows. Another book that I thought was really fun is um, it's a variant of Batman 66 or 67, right? 66 variant. Mm -hmm. And yes, we do have two more Pokemon cards, right? We have here uh, Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf, but I can't see what the other one is. It's a surprise. You gotta... Yeah, it won't even move. It's let's see if we get... uh, here we go. Here we go. It's Braviary. Braviary. Okay, fun. Never actually heard about it. Okay, our next book here, Fan Ulti Ultimate Fantastic Four number one. First appearance of the Ultimate Fantastic Four, but more importantly, this guy right here, this 
this version of Reed Richards is going to have uh, a comeback pretty soon. Sure, sure. Right. This is also the start of the series that brought us Marvel Zombies. Yes, this is the start of the series that brought Marvel Zombies. So, good book here. Here's another fun book that came out a while back. And I'm going to just... I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a split here. <laughs> like that. That way we can see this the last one. Slide of hands. Yeah, this one is... I remember when this book came out. And it is page number one. This book came out a few years back. This is back in 1992. So Luke Cage gave up the, the yellow shirt. As you can see, he's ripping yeah. off the yellow shirt and more urban flavor. <laughs> Even though you couldn't get more urban. <laughs> you couldn't just take a head and rip it off, right? <laughs> Wait, so, no, it's the shirt and chains at the same time. At the same time. because He's, <laughs> he's no longer Power Man. He's Cage here. All right, and we got chest plate and Mur Murkrow? Yeah, Murkrow. Murkrow? Chest plate is not a Pokemon. It's an item, but... Okay. Good. It's both Counts. Both yeah. All right, our next book here is a, another good old book from the 80s. I can tell it's from the 80s because it says here, Who Watches the Watchmen? That's how far back this go. Um, this is Introducing the Mind, mm -hmm. Batman the New Adventures. That's issue number 412. Actually, a pretty cool cover. I like it. Yep. All right, and we got what's this? Ursarin? Ursarin. Ursarin? Yeah. And Pineco. Pineco. Those are your Pokemon cards. Yeah. And this is the one that really stood out to me. We have here. Oh, boy. Look yeah, at look at this one. <laughs> Complete in a Myler. And it does have its Pokemon card in it. And this is Green Lantern issue number 42. 42? But what's really important about this book is it is the third appearance of Zatanna. Impressive. Very cool. Really good. And this was all part of a giveaway that I won while watching Only Slabs that go on every Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern. I forget what time it is. In, no, 2.30 Eastern and it's like 11.30 Pacific. So thank you, Rob. Thank you, Only Slabs. Thank you, Comet Vet, for all that good stuff. Sounds good, right? Good stuff here? It's some really good stuff. Fun stuff to read. I read a lot of these books before, so I actually have a few of them. But yeah. we'll know who knows what we're gonna do with them. But this is the one I really like. So thank you so much for this one, Rob. Until next time, guys. Excelsior.